Hello guys again, and welcome back to the whole city tonight. Today's first game of episode 2 is Bristol City at home, and we are looking for a win in the league. It had a win in the cup before I started this career. The team is going to have a couple of changes due to recent performances concerning but also Samuels can stay on the team. Tammy Abraham will sit out on the bench for this afternoon's game against Bristol City. He could come on at any point. In the second half or near the end of the first half. Bryce right at the mo moment. Long is sitting on the bench. Matt Ingram is going to go in goal for today's game. It's a bit sad. Got it to wrap take that side. Penalty is to wrap taken. I spent two minutes doing that. So let's go into kickoff against Bristol City. There's to wrap there's practice drills. I'm looking to win today's game and probably the next game in today's episode. So we're playing cake on our first game in this episode. Last episode, um, the last game of episode one was played at cake on against Blackburn, but. Switch of only, we have our first game of episode 2 playing at the KCON Stadium. So here we go, game's kicked off. I know we've covered the scoreboard and time, so. But I can tell you what the score is and what how many minutes have gone all, and all that. And when half time is. And, I also Samuel's um, trying to get the ball up here. I don't think they'll be able to struggle. And Bristol City got in the breakaway here. Matt Ingram could have been in trouble there. There's Da Silva here. Has a good pass. And that, yeah. It's just about to say, and that is the lead broken away in the first eight minutes of this game. So, yep, free kick. Who's over this? Taraps. Yeah. Oh, it's him. Because I put in a perfectly good ball, but he just couldn't hang on to the ball. The guy that just crossed the ball into it. Oh, that's good defending there. Why is my Ingram protesting that? Yeah, this is a problem with keepers like my Ingram. That happens a lot. Yay. 
So one nil Bristol City, 17 minutes played. Hull City nil, Bristol City one. Yep. Very good start to today's episode. So you can go and check out. Go and check out um, the QPR Kareem Hope playlist. I'll put a link to that um, playlist. I'll put a link to um, the whole city Kareem Hope playlist. See, uh, see you, you guys probably caught up on the. Um, Oh, um, two episodes of each career mode. Well, this one hasn't gone up yet, is it? Well, this one's probably gone up by the time you're watching this. But, uh, the QPR career's first two episodes are out now to watch on my channel, so if you want to watch them two first, recommend you do and then come back to what's um these two by the time this one's out it's two now bristol city we have to defend better than this it's Was put into ah, Adele Turrapt again with his second goal for Hull City and what a key goal that could be in today's in today's match. Good cross from also Samuel and a great finish by Turrapt to make it Hull City one. Bristol City 2 and that is the comeback start at the 38 minutes played 2-1 Bristol City it's a good game at the moment we're currently ten minutes until half time we have got I mean, uh, five minutes until our half time. Can we level it before the break? No, I don't. We still could if we get another chance. We're still fighting for our, our first win in the championship, remember? We haven't won a game yet in the league. We were close to against Blackburn, but we drew 1-1. One, one. And then off camera, we lost 3-1 to Swansea away, and lost 2-1 to Reading at home. So, that's kind of a bad start, but we were looking for a first win in the Championship today at the KCOM against Bristol City. We are close to that, we got one goal back before the break, like probably like eight minutes before the break. So that uh, Delta Rep goal was put in there. Three one Bristol City and you can already tell we have been absolutely battered by Bristol City. It's not it's not even funny anymore. 
was the sound of shot is playing and the keep was just why is the rat always got like always at the top of my list oh that's always see why he is Still 2-1 Bristol City, uh, about um, 59 minutes have gone now. Now we've had an hour gone at the cake on, 3-1 still. And then, next game in this episode is Reading at home as well. And Matt Ingram with a big save. He's had three goals put past him. And, Bristol, and Daniel Bentley has had one goal put past him. There's a big difference. We're looking for that second goal just to just to sort of be ready. Ah, oh, we've got Crowth is news to buy in Munich. There's some good things for you. I'll say Samuel. Yeah, just sort of get it out of play there. Come to show Alan. It's not only his second appearance, it's, I think it's about his third. We've got corner. Tarap's going to have to play this one short. Maybe not anymore. We're near the end of this game. 88 minutes played, still 3 1 Bristol City. Just gonna have a fourth. There he is, Tommy Abraham. It's a bit too late to make this up. I think he's gonna have about three minutes on the pitch. He's not gonna have to go off again. Ah! Four one. Right in the last minute. Yeah, well, did you see how poorly we played? We're still searching for the first win in our league. And, um, we definitely did not get it there.
Reading in the Cowboy Cup. That that's what happened again in QPR career. I had one league game and one cup game. This happened here, but the other way around. Uh, the QPR one, I had a cup game and then the, the league game. But this one, I've had the league game and then the cup game. So it looks like we're gonna have to. Start the same thing. I don't think we're red in the part of our best team, but the only change, which is um, sort of Tommy Abraham's back in the starting 11. So is wrong. He's back between the posts. Tommy Abraham, could he, be, could he be on the search for a second goal of the season today against Reading in the Cup? Again, yeah, yeah, don't think we're gonna put on our best team. I wouldn't like say we're gonna win this. I think we would get a draw on and probably win on penalties. I could do with QPR over Blackburn in the cup. I won 5 4 on penalties. That is in efforts to two. I just gave away one smaller than that. So, if you want to find out what else happens, you have to watch it. And that should have been a foul interrupt, but you see. Bulldog. That was a good save from Long. He's actually made quite a few impressive days in the first episode as well if you watch the first episode of this career mode so I doubt you have so I you haven't watched it yet I'd advise you to go watch it if you want to get caught up on the two career modes of course I'll remind you I'll put a link to both of their playlists whoa 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 the, the, was it me or did the ball sort of did the ball sort of glitch sort of disappear and then come back did anyone else see that because I definitely did oh 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 ah. oh the Red in and it is scored by Boyd. Boy. Where was it? I literally thought it was um Bulldog. Oh my god. Oh my god, Carol Singers. Sorry, but I'm not stopping recording. Oh, God. I was literally like those. E Brown's on his foot. Oh, it's Bordock again. Ah, I thought Randy would play crap today.
There's a bunch of chances. Blaze wide. Yes! Tarot again! Three goals in the last three matches. And look at that. that that's an appropriate acceleration for a man who scored two goals in two matches played for Hull City. 1-1. That's a man that's truly dedicated to whatever club he plays at. Okay, t 45 minutes, 3 minutes of added time of the first half. Traps, doing a bit of skill. It's Tammy Abraham that's losing quite a lot of possession for us. Bulldog. Bulldog. Oh, ah, long. Okay, there's a friend in corner. I don't think there's any time for this. Up. Oh. Get out. Own goal by long. That's what it is. There shouldn't be any time. It's just. Now why did you let the goal count? You should have thrown the whistle as soon as he saved it. So unfortunately, the half time score is 2 1 Reading. We can all blame the ref for that because he's put on too much, he's put in three minutes of injury time and he's like, Kind of let on another two minutes, and um, as soon as Long saved it, he should have blown the whistle without let, letting the rebound count. Personally, comment down below if you think that that goal should have counted or not. Okay, so in episode 3, I can give you the first game of tomorrow's episode is Millwall Away. Don't know what the one after Millwall Away is next episode. Offside decision. He is definitely offside. Bulldog. Bulldog has missed. In your face. I knew Bulldog was going to miss something. I think he's missed about three or four shots. Bulldog. Some Bulldog. That's Silva. Here's Pitarat. You can't hang on to the ball all the time. You can hang on to the ball right near the box and you can score. Oh, there, there's a problem. Long with a big save. I don't know how long the lead for Reading's gonna last. A foul! The 
is the ref not know the meaning of foul means? Does he not know what the word foul means? Long puts it out. Trapped. Or say Sam Hill is going to cause problems. How many shots have been denied? Get it Yeah. It's good officiating there, ref. See, he's done it again, he's put on overtime. He's put on overtime again! Yet we lost both the games because Peter, the ref is putting on too much overtime. shaking hands with them. You should be literally arguing with them. So that's the end of today's episode. Sorry I sound a bit bad but come on that's a bit ridiculous. Putting on too much injury time. That's so I am so ridiculous. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next episode of them two careers. Subscribe, like the video, hit notifications.